A popular Nigerian journalist, Ruben Abati, has disclosed details of what the military personnel in Kaduna State revealed concerning the killing of 39 people in southern Kaduna by some gunmen. According to Ruben Abati, the military has disclosed that the killing of the 39 persons in southern Kaduna was a reprisal attack. According to Ruben Abati, the head of the military base located around the area the incident occurred disclosed that the killing that occurred on the 13th of December was what led to the December 18th killings. Ruben Abati stated that it was revealed that on December 13th some persons were killed in Kaduna State. After the killing that took place on December 13th, some aggrieved persons who lost people in the attack went for a reprisal attack on December 18th and the reprisal attack led to the killing of 39 people. Ruben Abati described the recent killings in Kaduna State as an Egyptian dramatic situation in which people kill for honor and people never forget what they have lost to the extent that they feel that they have to revenge what they have lost. Ruben Abati described the Cardona killing as something that has been going on from the 80s. And these are the things that uh, this government came on board to tell us that uh, they are going to rectify, but see what is happening. No, 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 no. The problem escalated, keeps escalating, keeps escalating. And in this, at this age and time, at this age and time, I mean, why somebody will tell you that, uh, oh, uh, in the southeast, uh, uh, the kind of things or the kind of unrest going on, and somebody wants to come and is this how they are going to rule Nigeria? If somebody, if the the authority of this country is entrusted in their hands, I'm beginning to see Habati as very subjective in his analysis of public affairs. Please, if you don't even know what to say, just avoid certain issues because the killing in Southern Kaduna is a politically is politically motivated and deliberately killing that can be likened to genocide. So in order to be objective, if Christians killed Fulani is normal, but if Fulani killed Christians is genocide. What is analysis that you are talking about? Thanks a million. Well, people like Adams are the major problem we have in this country. People that we say, they will see black and call it white. You sound like justifying the killings. Why is it that uh, as killings by Fulanis are attributed to reprisal attacks by security agencies? Are they justifying the idea of people taking loss into their hands? Does it mean then that only headers know how to carry out reprisal attacks? Since the law refused to apprehend the punish and punish culprits of first killings, the aggrieved families of victims took the law into their hands. You know the worst part of it, eh? the annoying part of it is that you are, you are not, you will not even utter a word. See what Nigerians are going through with this uh, forest scarcity and what have you. As a minister of petroleum, he cannot say anything. He doesn't care. He doesn't bother. Oh my God, to fear qua, we don't have this kind of person again. He's so bad. He's so bad. Why is it that these guys are like this? Why are they like this? The one that will talk, will talk anyhow. The one that will won't, won't talk, he doesn't does even care. It's just unfortunate. All this one that you guys are talking, whether reprisal or no reprisal, that is not the issue. When the person, like, of course, if you want to relate it with what somebody said, that the first person that did it, since the person did not get punished, and people will be angry. What is it? They will call government, call government, call government. Please come and come to our rescue, come to our aid, come to this, come to our call. Where they will do nothing. They will do nothing. But at the end of the day, it will keep happening. It will keep happening over and over. It's, it's, it's painful. It's really painful. They will just come, worry, call, call, call. they will do nothing. They will say nothing. Another one will happen. Another thing will happen. And the man is the one that will not be asking governors that how do they sleep by not paying salaries? How does Buari sleep with all these things happening? How do they, does he sleep? Since the law refused to apprehend the and punish the culprit of the first killing. This is what you get. I never thought this man is like this. <clears throat> well, no, Ruben, you retreated and echoed the deceitful lines air of fire and other diehard Islamic extremists have told over the years to cover up the sectarian genocide that is going on in Southern Kaduna for years. I'm surprised that Abati feigned ignorance of the true situation in Southern Kaduna 
as a journalist of his standing i feel so disappointed what were the military doing when the first incident happened and they still gave room for reprisal and yet could not even come up to tell the world and yet could come up to tell the world a trash Ruben Abati just but a fool for saying such thing it's not his problem but all we know is this is islamic agenda honestly i don't even really get what this man was trying to analyze or is he saying this as a security analyst or is he saying all this trash based on his own personal understanding i hope uh, maybe uh, he didn't even understand the people are paying for the loss of human being life if i may ask who first kid who before issue of reprisal attack that take the lives of such large number of persons please Oga, if you don't even forget if you don't forget it's outright question there is here is why all those miscreants are always invisible that they cannot even be seen whether or whenever they commit such a deadly act ruben abati don't be used to mm, people they boil don't be used at all ignoble talk about ignoble deeds hmm. mr abati the person that gave us this story as a reprisal attack is one billion percent line if you want to know the truth come to kagoro and find out who is lying don't even sit down at the comfort of the studios air condition and just say what you don't know what happened was purely politics and if god forbid your own village is attacked i hope uh, you will agree whosoever with whosoever that is a reprisal attack if forgiveness is a solution there's no need to flout but a call for restraints and calmness for peace to reign and look for means to address the issues but will they do that the question is will they do that <laughs> please are you saying killing since it's reprisal it's like uh, you are coming among the game wicked so this is a continuation of attacks not reprisal wicked blood sucking apc always justify killings of other tribes fulani government i now come on the cardinal reprisal attack 18th december 2022 following the one on the 13th of december 2022 it's just so ridiculous it's ridiculous so the person that's supposed to be in charge of this whole thing mm -hmm. is not doing anything on no? the president